fetal heart interpretation. Monitoring of the fetal heart rate intends to determine if a fetus is well oxygenated because the brain modulates the heart rate. Fetal heart rate monitoring is equal to fetal brain monitoring. In 1980, 45% uh, of the laboring women had fetal heart rate monitoring, which increased to 85% in 2002. So, uh, fetal heart rate monitoring uh, gives a low risk uh, uh, review every 30 minutes in first stage of labor, review every 15 minutes in second stage, high risk uh, EFM review every 15 minutes in first stage of labor, review every five minutes in second stage of labor, long-term viability and short-term viability are visualized, uh, are visually determined and considered one entity. Baseline fetal heart rate, the average fetal heart rate rounded to five beats per minute during a 10 minute period, but exceeds the period of marked increased fetal heart rate variability segments of baseline that affects by uh, more than 25 beats per minute and must compromise at least two minutes out of 10 minutes. A normal range is 110 to 160 beats per minute and always a uh, document as uh, as a range so fetal heart rate baseline set by the atrial pacemaker balance interplay of sympathetic and parasympathetic autonomic nervous system developing parasympathetic nervous system shows a baseline during the advancing gestational age ideally assess the baseline when the fetus is not moving and the fetus is not stimulated between the contractions Fetal tachycardia, by definition, the uh, baseline fetal heart rate for 160 beat per minute or greater uh, than 10 minutes. Description increase in sympathetic and decrease in parasympathetic tone, sometimes associated with decrease in fetal heart rate. Etiology, fetal hypoxia, metronome fever, drugs, amniotis, hyperthyroidism, and fetal anemia. Fetal tachycardia, the significance is usually hypoxemia, is not the reason, especially in terms of fetus and identifiable cause such as maternal fevers or drugs, can be a non-reassuring sign if associated with late deceleration or absent variability. If more than 220 beats per minute, consider SVT. Intervention, maternal fever can be reduced by antipyretics or IV hydration. Maternal oxygenation, supersaturation with oxygen by face mask, and an RFS uh, expeditiously deliver. Fetal bradycardia, by definition, fetal heart rate of 110 beats per minute or less for 10 minutes. Etiology late profound fetal hypoxemia, beta blocker, anesthetics, maternal hypotension, and prolonged umbilical cord compression. The clinical significance of fetal bradycardia is that it is associated with loss of variability and late decelerations. Substantial bradycardia less than 90 beats per minute, especially if prolonged and uncorrectable in signs of impending fetal acidemia. Mild bradycardia 90 to 110 beats per minute with moderate variability and absence of late decelerations in generally reassuring. Interventions. Uh, Correction of the underlying etiology, if not correctable, usually emergent cesarean section. Variability by definition is the fluctuation in the baseline of fetal heart rate for two or more cycles per minute. Quantify the amplitude as follows, absent undetectable, minimum 5 or less beats per minute, moderate 6 to 25 beats per minute, and marked more than 25 beats per minute. Variability, it's the normal irregularity of the cardiac rhythm. Balancing interaction of the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. 
results from the sporadic impulses of the cerebral cortex. Moderate variability affects and, and interacts the neurological pathway, optimal fetal oxygenation and adequate tissue oxygenation. The short term variability beat to beat changes in fetal heart rate from one heartbeat to next described as absent or present only measurable by FSE controlled by the parasympathetic nervous system present STV reassuring for the fetal oxygenation. Long term variability influenced by the sympathetic nervous system visually examined to the rise and fall of fetal heart rate by continuing of cycles with one minute and determining the amplitude presence of LTV gives the indication of the fetal oxygenation. Generally, LTV and STV increases or decreases together. The exceptions can be fetal sleep, minimal LTV, present STV, anemia, moderate uh, long-term variability and sh absent short-term variability. The marked variability is due to mild hypoxemia, fetal stimulation, give contraction, SVE and FSE, medication, terbutaline, albuterol, drugs, cocaine, methamphetamine and nicotine. Significance is unknown, not in itself is a sign of uh, NRFS. Intervention observe FHT for non-reassuring signs, changes in baseline, consider FSE. Etiology of decreased variability is hypoxemia, acidemia, medications, narcotic, barbiturate, anesthetics, and parasympathetics. Fetal sleep cycle 20 to 40 minutes, congenital anomalies, fetal cardiac arrhythmia, extreme prematurity, less than 24 weeks. Significance of intervention of decreased variability depends on cause, no intervention if transient, secondary, or fetal sleep cycle or CNS depressants. If hypoxemia is suspected, try to improve the fetal blood oxygenation, maternal positioning, hydration, correcting maternal hypotension, maternal oxygenation, elimination of uterine hyperstimulation. Sine wave uh, pattern of undulating baseline, the regular oscillations with an amplitude of 5 to 15 beats per minute, 2 to 5 cycles per minute, minimal or absent short term variability, absence of accelerations, extreme regularity and smoothness. Etiology, fetal hypoxemia or fetal anemia, often secondary to RH isoimmunization. Pseudosinusoidal pattern, sine wave is less uniform and STV present, narcotics, amniotis and thumb sucking. Accelerations. Definition is abrupt increase in fetal heart rate above the baseline, onset to the peak of for less than 30 seconds, peak 15 beats per minute above the recent baseline, 32 weeks and more, peak 10 beats above most recent beat line, and duration from increase to return the baseline, 15 seconds but less than 2 minutes, prolonged acceleration 2 to 10 minutes, acceleration of more than 10 minutes, new baseline. Acceleration could be episodic, uh, spontaneous acceleration or periodic acceleration with contractions. Etiology, the stimulation of the sympathetic autonomic nervous system, spontaneous fetal movement, vaginal examination, abdominal palpation, environmental stimuli, scalp and vibroacoustic stimuli, uterine contraction, insertion of IUPC or FSC. Acceleration, the clinical significance is the signs of the intact fetal nervous system and reassuring FWB. Some fetal monitors have uh, movement sensors, repetitive accelerations, contraction, compressions, umbilical cord are cause of transient fetal hypotension and baroreceptor induced increase in fetal heart rate. Decelerations, the early deceleration, the lead deceleration, the variable deceleration and the prolonged deceleration. By definition, the gradual increase in the onset of nadir 
to FRH and return to the baseline the net rate at the time of you find contraction P. Description shape uniform mirror image contraction phase onset early contraction recovery within the contraction of baseline deceleration rarely up to less than uh, 110 beat per minute or 30 beats below the baseline. Early deceleration, the etiology is uterine contraction, fetal head compression leads to the altered cerebral blood flow, leads to the vagal stimulation, CPD especially when occurs in early labor, persistent occiput posterior position, significance, no pathological significance, do not occur in all labors. Late deceleration, definition, onset, late in contraction phase, onset to narrative, of more than 30 seconds nadir after the peak of contraction recovery returns to the baseline after end of contraction deceleration rarely less than 100 beats per minute may be suitable for three to five beats per minute variability often associated with decreased variability rising baseline or tachycardia occurrence of repetitive with each contraction Pathophysiology is uterine hyperactivity or maternal hypotension, decreased intervillous space, uh, blood flow during the contraction, decreased maternal fetal oxygen transfer, fetal hypoxia and myocardial depression, vagal response to the cardio deceleration. Etiology is utero-placental insufficiency, uterine hyperstimulation, maternal supine hypotension, gestational hypertension, chronic hypertension, post-term gestation, amniotis, IUGR, poorly controlled maternal diabetes, placenta previa, abruption, maternal shock, spinal anesthesia. Clinical significance is non-reassuring signs when persistent with uncorrectable and when associated with decreased variability and or tachycardia and the signs of fetal acidemia. As myocardial depression increases, the depth of late deceleration decreases and becoming more subtle. And the signs of uh, deceleration is not clinically significant if rest of the tracing is reassuring. Intervention for late deceleration, change the maternal position to lateral, correct maternal hypotension, legs up, head down, IV fluid bolus, vasopressors, correct uterine hyperstimulation, stop pitocin, remove uh, curvedal and consider tocolytic, hyperoxygenate maternal blood with O2, cervical exam, labor status, fetal scalp stimulation, consider FSE, if repetitive and uncorrectable expeditious delivery. Variable decelerations, the characteristic shape is variable V, U or W. Onset occurs to the beginning of nadir and recovery rapid return to the baseline deceleration of more than 15 beats per minute often more than 100 beats per minute duration is more than 15 seconds to less than two minutes occurrence typically late in labor with descent of the head in second stage of labor variable deceleration the umbilical cord compression partial occlusion decreased venous return decrease fsbp Baroreceptor mediated acceleration, complete occlusion, umbilical vein and arteries increase in FSBP, baroreceptor mediated decelerations. Variable deceleration, the etiology is maternal position, cord between the fetus and pelvis, cord around the fetal neck and other body parts, shortcut, true knots, prolapse cord, oligohydramnios, and after ROM. Yeah. Interpretation, the progression is more important than the absolute parameters creating mild less than 30 seconds between seven, more than 70 is 30 to 60 seconds or more than 80 beats per minute for any duration. Moderate is less than 70, 70 to 80 beats per minute for more than 60 seconds or severe is less than 70 for more than 60 seconds. Reassuring features, mild to moderate variable deceleration, rapid return to baseline, normal or increasing baseline, 
moderate variability, non-reassuring features are several variable deceleration, prolonged return to the baseline, increased baseline, absent or minimal variability. Prolonged deceleration definition more than 15 per beats per minute for less than for more than 2 minutes or less than 10 minutes characteristic sh uh, shape is variable deceleration almost always below normal FHR range except for in fetus with tachycardia. Variability often lost, recovery often followed by the period of late deceleration and rebound tachycardia. Some fetuses do not recover the terminal bradycardia. Etiology, cord prolapse, maternal hypotension, tetanic uterine contraction, pitocin, abruption, cocaine, maternal hypoxemia, seizures, narcotic overdose, magnesium sulfate toxicity, high spinal anesthetic, the fetal head compression or stimulation can produce a strong vagal response. FSC pelvic exam sustained maternal well salva rapid fetal descent. Significance depending on the recovery and post deceleration of HR, FHR tracing. The positive predictive value of non reassuring pattern to predict the cerebral palsy among the singletons with birth weight is more than. Uh, 2,500 gram. Out of 1,000 fetuses with the non-reassuring FHR pattern, only 1 to 2 will develop CP. False positive rate is 99%. Available data suggests EFM does not reduce cerebral palsy. Occurrence of the uh, cerebral palsy has been stable over the time despite widespread introduction of EFM. 70% of the cerebral palsy cases occur before the onset of labor. 4% can only be solely attributed to intrapartum events. What medication can affect fetal heart rate? Epidural can lead to sympathetic blockade, maternal hypotension, and transient placental insufficiency, leading to acceleration in the fetal heart rate. Placent, uh, Parental narcotic decreases the fetal heart rate variability, less acceleration. Corticosteroids transiently decrease the fetal heart rate variability within the return by uh, 4 to 7 days and may reduce the rate of accelerations. What findings on the EFM uh, reassure the fetal status? Accelerations ensure that the fetus is not acidemic. Variability in the case of the normal moderate uh, FHR variability and late deceleration, the umbilical arterial pH is more than 7 in 97% of the cases. In most cases, the normal fetal heart rate variability provides reassurance about the fetal status. What ancillary tests can reassure the fetal status? Decrease in the absent variability without spontaneous accelerations. Make an effort to elicit an acceleration with digital scalp stimulation, Alice clamp scalp stimulation, vibroacoustic stimulation, and fetal scalp sampling. Thank you.